Megan. Hi. Where'd you go today? Fine. You got some eggs for me? I got some eggs for you. They look great. Would you mind if I come on board? No. All right. I'd love to see the no, eggs up close. Can you, can you show me what you got today? Here we are. Oh, wow. These look fantastic. It's going to grow. Oh, I can even see the eggs in them. See where the strand is? Yeah. Without the sand on uh -huh. it. It's amazing how you can see those They're tiny pretty. little white eggs. Today we're going to talk about processing egg masses. And the egg masses have come in from the field, from the females, conch. And with me today, I have Julio Ortez Guevara, and he's a fisher that's here at the Fishing Association, and he's going to help me process the egg masses so that we can incubate them. Well, let's get started. Okay. okay? So the first thing we need to do is to figure out the, the temperature. Temperature of the water. Okay. It's 29 degrees. 29 degrees. Okay. So 29 then, degrees. 29 degrees. I also want you to do the salinity. You remember how to use the refractometer? He's going to take a small sample of water. The so refractometer is used to measure salinity a little bit more. All right. Then we, we lower this down. And then you just look right through it, just outside there. Thirty-seven. 36, 37, 37. And I want you to do the same thing with the water that's in the egg mass container here. And then will you go ahead and take a look through that again? 37. So we actually got the same salinity. So we're going to do 37, 37. So we're keeping data, the data log here. Okay, now what we're ready to do is to actually process the eggs. All right. All right. So one number. We can. Number um, two. They're all from the same location, right? So we can. Mm, yes. So these are actually the number oh. incubator that they're going in over there. Right. So you don't really have to worry about the bag. Just bring up a bag, okay. and I'll note. I'll note it on here. Okay. okay. So you want to dump the water first, and then gently with your hand, you're going to take the egg mass out. Perfect. Okay, and you're going to take the egg mass right out of the bag and put it into the salt water here. That's right, just like kind of flip it into your hand and then right into the water. Okay, very good. So now you're going to do your magic. You're going to start to break it apart. Breaking it apart, taking the dirt, the sand. Taking the sand off. And, and what else are you doing? So they, they get more oxygen. Right, so you're spreading the strands spreading apart. The strand so apart. Julio is spending time spreading the strands apart of the egg mass. They come very firmly packed. Okay, so uh, Julio, that's looking really great, the way you've spread it apart with your fingers. Now, what we need to do is we need to take a sample so that we can see what stage the development of the eggs are at. And so typically at this stage, they've just been laid. And the female takes 24 to 36 hours to lay an egg mass. So it's really quite amazing it takes her that much time. And while she's laying the egg mass, they're developing, the embryos are developing in, in the egg. Getting older the outside, getting older. Getting older the further away mm -hmm. from the female. And so this gives us an idea when we, and we usually take a pinch right in the middle. So just use your fingers, and if you need both hands, that's fine, and you're going to take two little pinches. Great. Now we'll take it over to the incubator. There you go. Alright. Now that we've processed the eggs, we're going to observe them using the microscope in order to see which stage the eggs are at. We need to know this information so that we can tell when they're going to hatch. Using the microscope, we're able to see really closely what the eggs look like. You can see they're in this strand, and these are the sand. So they're really, really small, because even the sand grain looks really big. 
in our manual, we also have the, different, the five different stages of the eggs. And so using the manual, you can take a look and see at which stage they are at. I can see that there are multiple cells. So this is a later stage in the development. In order to show Julio what I'm seeing through the microscope, since we can't look at it at the same time, we've downloaded this app called UCAM Plus, and it connects wirelessly through this uh, camera that we have over here. Uh, so after our observations, Julio said that they look like they're in stage two, and that's correct. So we're going to go ahead and write that down onto our data sheet. So one of the things that's so interesting about the egg mass is that they have this outer strand here, right? Which we, which we know, we've been feeling it, it has all the sand on it. But then inside of it, it actually has another coil. And that's why you see some eggs in the top and you see some eggs underneath. And so it's actually the spiral. And then it has yet one more layer and that's the layer around the actual developing embryo. And that's the egg capsule. Yeah, protection. Because protection. So it's actually got three layers of protection. And so that's so interesting when they go to hatch, they have to break down all that with an enzyme, and that's how they uh, actually hatch out of the eggs. Mm -hmm. So I'm in total agreement, stage number two, and they're looking really healthy. Just did one hatch tonight in tank five. You want to take a look together? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, it looks like we've got a really good hatch. So instead of keeping the egg mass in this tank overnight, we're gonna go ahead and remove it. And we do it very slowly so that we don't get any of the sand or the egg capsules that have hatched, the egg strand. Maybe there's little worms in there as well. So when we raise it up, we do it really slowly like this. And the water leaves the sieve area and then we put it in this container here, and we can take it out to the ocean from here.